you know, we, we, it was hard in the first half. Um, we were having trouble connecting some of the some of the passes that we wanted to connect. But you know, look, we've had a busy week. Um, we're in Ar um, we're in Utah, sorry, on the, on Wednesday night, and get back here and uh, we played a, you know a fresh Tulsa team, and you know you can't you're just very proud of the guys the way they hung in there and fought to the end and you know I thought you know scored two good goals at the end of the match so you know we'll take two nil three points this time of the year is you know trying to get over that line and fortunately you know right now you know it was a good result. Um, in our favour, so now we've got you know still got a chance, and this group of players will keep fighting to the bitter end to, to make that playoff. So. I was just getting frustrated because I wasn't getting any chances, and so you know it was good to finally see the ball in the back of the net. To be honest, just kind of do whatever it takes to you know put the ball in the back of the net and kind of lift the team. That's what we needed. I mean, we're pros, right? So we have to always be ready all the time. I've taken my role pretty seriously this year, and the oldest. English speaking guy in the team, so I've taken my role pretty seriously this year as far as being a leader off the field and practice, getting the team ready. And my number was called upon the past two days, so I'm just happy to help out the team any way I can. Oh man, it felt great. You know, um, I was just talking to Jordan, our trainer now, and he was telling me, uh, remember, I wasn't even supposed to come back this season, so it feels good to one, get on the field, two, run around, and I mean, the goal is just the, the cherry on top. Uh, it's good to come up with what the team needs at the time. Uh, you know, keep our keep our clean sheet. And, you know, allow us to go ahead and win the game.